You guys have no idea why he's acting like this? He's crazy and dangerously insane. He did say he feels distracted, but he won't tell us why. Yeah, we didn't feel comfortable questioning him either, but we kept our distance and we got him to confess a little something about how he actually feels. Wait! <laughs> I thought you were gonna move. And how did he respond to that? Like a real gentleman, but he wasn't really forcing his usual kindness. And he didn't ask a lot of questions, but he did respond to all, all of ours. Did you try to make him remember anything fun? Well, we are, well, we were talking, some players walked by, and he got really excited. They're at court now. Hamlin asked, to, asked him to perform tonight. <laughs> yeah, and he begged for his, her, his and Her Majesty to attend tonight. It's so nice to hear of him, so excited about something for once. Keep him interested with entertainment and make sure he's happy. Gertrude, can you leave too? We would like to talk to Hamlet privately. We want him to meet with Ophelia by chance, if you know what I mean. Me and her dad just want to spy on them. We've got a good reason, and we'll hide too. We just want to watch Hamlet's reaction to see if he's crazy. Nothing weird. No problem, love. And Ophelia, I hope your beauty is what makes Hamlet go mad. And I hope your innocence brings him back. It'll benefit you both. <sighs> I hope so too. <clears throat> okay, Philly, go over there and, and read your prayer book. Try to make it look na make it real natural looking. Isn't it actually kind of bad for us to act religious when we're doing something bad? Yeah, that's actually true. Why'd he bring that up? Now that's gonna eat at me. It's the same as a whore putting on makeup. It's only doing what's necessary to get the job done. You're right. I hear him coming. Let's hide, Claudius. To be or not to be, that is the question. Is it more noble to accept life's pain or fight it and rid them completely? To die, to sleep, that's all it is. An end to all the headache and injuries, very vulnerable to it. We're vulnerable to it. It's almost wished for. To dream, maybe, but that there's a catch. The dreams after you have left your mortal body are nothing to be are nothing to make you anxious. That's why we're that's why we suffer this destructive life for so long. Because who would bear all of this through Time through time, the oppression, arrogant men, unrequited love, slowness of justice, disrespect, general abuse. Why, when we could end it all with a dagger? They only bear because they are afraid of what happens after death. The fear of death makes us cowards. Our natural willingness to overthink. Important things get lost in thought because of that. And all action stops. Oh, but here. <laughs> Is my beautiful Ophelia. <laughs> you forgive my sins. <laughs> I'm good, thanks for asking. I have so many things. I've been meaning to give them back. Please take them. That's not my stuff. I never gave you anything. You know you did. You know you did. The letters you get, the gifts you seem so valuable. I feel nothing when I look at them. They are nothing, so take them. Are you a virgin? Sorry? Are you fair? What do you mean? If you are both, they should be unconnected to your beauty. Isn't beauty only related to purity? Right? Yes, but beauty turns a girl into a whore, while purity turns a beautiful girl into a virgin. I used to question that, but now I but now I know. I don't love you anymore. You mean you believe you do? Well you shouldn't have. You try to be virtuous, but your sins fall through. I didn't love you. So I fell for your trick then. Go to a nunnery. Why would you want to give birth to sinners? I am I am as good as the next man, but with my sins, I wouldn't have been I would have been better off if my mother never gave birth to me. I may be arrogant, vengeful, ambitious, and have criminal thoughts and de desires. We shouldn't be allowed to walk on this earth because we're criminals. Don't believe any of us, so get yourself to a nunnery. Now where's your dad? I hope he gets walked in. He can play a fool in his in his, his home only. Goodbye. God help him. If you marry, I'll curse your wedding. No matter how clear and pure you are or become, you have a bad reputation. Get to a nunnery. Goodbye. Or marry a fool. A wise man knows that a woman will eventually cheat on him. Goodbye. He's gone mad. He was so eloquent. Courageous and wise. He gave the country such hope. Modeled with manner and a trendsetter, 
How could he have fallen so low? His useful, beautiful was unmatched, and now it's just destroyed by madness. It's so sad to see what he has to become. What he has become. Hurry up, you whore. He doesn't feel love. We should send him to England. He's dangerous. I think he's mad with love. But if he is mad, we'll send him to England. about earlier but just change it to make claudia seem guilty i love you so much our anniversary is going to be beautiful and with the god's blessing we'll have many more i hope so but you've been so sick recently you're making me nervous i know you'll be okay but it's just in a woman's nature to worry just don't mind me womaning i'll be fine it's nothing new i mean i can't lie I know I'm going to die soon, but you could always find another husband. I can never do that. It just seems wrong. Only a woman who has killed her husband could marry again. That's bitter. I can understand a second marriage for money, but not love. I just feel, I would just feel like every time he tries to touch me, I would be killing you all over again. That's what you say now, but once I'm gone, that's probably going to change. You want to believe it won't, but over time, you're going to forget the things you promised me. You'll get swept up by moments of happiness or grief. You're going to end up remarrying, and that's okay. Just like I'm going to end up dying, and that's okay. I'd rather starve, live in poverty. I'd rather go through emotional trauma before I remarry. So how do you like the play? It was okay. I just think the character's a little dramatic in a play. I mean, they're only playing the characters that they're supposed to be playing, if that makes sense. Yeah, how does that make sense? It doesn't have to make sense, you're just supposed to enjoy it. Can I lay my head on you? Excuse me? On your lap. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Jeez, you always think so wrong, God. How can one not think wrong like that? You're supposed to be wrong. <laughs> Forgive me, Father! Ah! That was a lie. Hamlet's dangerous. I'm sending him to England with y'all. We'll take care of Hamlet. We'll hurry. Gertrude wants to talk to Hamlet. Okay, I'll send him. Send her. Him? What do you want? I don't talk to whores. How am I a whore? You married my uncle after my dad died. How does that not make you a whore? A rat! You killed him! It's fine! Why wouldn't I? Fine. Calm down. I'm going to take his body. Goodbye, mother. Uh...